Hello guys. Welcome to your YouTube channel NB Infotech. In this video, we are testing Kaspersky free antivirus against 100 latest malware. Let's see whether the Kaspersky free antivirus will survive this attack or not. If you are a new visitor, please consider subscribing to the channel and hit the bell icon to receive notification. Let's have a quick look through features and settings of this antivirus. Turning off the real time protection temporarily so that I can extract malware samples from the zip file. As you can see, Kaspersky antivirus does not disable the Windows Defender and both work together. But in order to play Kaspersky in a better way, I have to disable the Windows Defender antivirus. Here we have a total of 100 malware samples and one malware tester application in this folder. Our setup is now ready for the test. Uh, let's start the test. But before that, uh, we have to enable the anti uh, Kaspersky antivirus real time protection. There are four open windows. One is for malware tester application, which will execute the malware samples from the folder. Another is process explorer window. This will help to check newly created processes and virus total score of each trip. Task manager window that will help to observe resource utilization of antivirus and malware tester application.
The test has been completed successfully and as per malware tester application, the antivirus detection rate is 96%. As I already told you, this script works smoothly with few antivirus applications. Antivirus is still working in the background and removing the detected threats from the system. This is a virus total score of running threat from the system.
Kaspersky had detected the threat and asking for system reboot in order to remove all the threats from the system. But before the system restarts, the antivirus will perform a system scan and then it will automatically restart the system. system is restarted and now the antivirus is checking for the damage performed by the malware. There is no any active running malware thread in system and also there is no unwanted malware object in startup. In the malware sample folder, now there are only three files are remaining. Those are undetected by Kaspersky antivirus. Now, this is the time to perform the second opinion scan with Hitman Pro. And after Hitman Pro, we will perform another system scan with Norton Power Eraser. Hitman Pro has to detected total three threads. Out of them, two threads are from malware sample folder and one thread from app data folder. This is the same thread that was running previously before the system restart. This is our last scan with Norton Power Eraser. But Norton Power Eraser has asked for the system reboot. Once the system reboot is done, it will automatically start for the scan. Norton Power Eraser has detected that missing thread from user app data folder. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Keep in touch for more videos. If you like this video, then give a big thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel NB Infotech and press the bell icon to receive the notification whenever we upload a new video. In the comment, suggest to us more antivirus tests that you want. Till the time take care. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.